Well, I'm down in a, another creek this morning, and this is a creek I haven't been to in a while. I've been wanting to go back to explore it, and I got a kit that I'm gonna be fishing with today. I've used before, but this could be one of the best like creek fishing kits. These, uh, these are some of my favorite lures. I got the Crick Hopper, the little, the tiny uh, Rebel Crawl, the Teeny R. I love the Teeny R for multi-species. And then the Popper, which is probably the Popper's the least fish, the least thing I've caught fish on. Uh, the other ones have caught lots of fish on them. So I got this little kit. We're gonna go through it, try to use each lure. The water's up just a little bit from the rain, but it's, it's finally calmed down and it's gotten clear. And I haven't been to this creek in a while, and I don't know what's really could be in here. I've only fished it a couple of times, so with the water coming up and down, anything that could be possible to be catched. So we're gonna use this kit right here, and uh, I'm gonna tie one of them on, and we'll start going through them. All right, no surprise here. We're gonna start out with the creek hopper. This is, I think that's what it's called the, it may be called the brown cricket. I can't remember actually, but um, it's the regular size creek hopper. It's got the smaller hooks, so. Uh, it can, it'll, I like it just because when the fish are aggressive, they just like hammer it and it can catch all different types of species. So let's fish it for a little while, see what we catch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it usually doesn't take long. If there's some sunfish in the area, they can't stand it. They gotta hit it, a little bluegill. There was, there was four or five of them all like ran at it. Species number one, fish number one. Just a simple bluegill. Okay, that's kind of what I expected. I know that there's gonna be some other fish in here, hopefully, but that's really common, a little bluegill. Oh yeah, that's a little guy. What's number two? Uh, just another bluegill. Oh, I that. Had that guy hit it a couple times. And there we go, the red breast. I knew he'd make an appearance pretty soon. Pretty one right there. I catch most of my fish when I'm throwing the crick hopper by just reeling it slow. Ow, it came off. I'll, uh, I'll throw it out there and just pop it like just kind of twitch it one time and then I just kind of start reeling it in slow, make them have to make a decision. Sometimes when it's just sitting there popping, they don't, they'll hit it and I get hooked. When it starts moving, they gotta hit it a little more aggressively. There we go. A lot of sunfish in here, man. What is this? Just another bluegill. Okay, well that crick hopper, we know it works. I've used it a lot. It's time, we're gonna let this guy go. And he's got that treble hook down in there. That is why I have these things here, I forget what they're called, forceps or something like that. So I can get these small hooks out. And uh, we'll switch to a different lure. What, let's see, which one? Let's switch to something else. Let's see what I'll put on there. All right, well, we just got the Rebel, uh, the teeny wee crawl. I think that's what it's called. It's the tiny one. It's about the same size as the crick hopper, and it'll catch the same fish. But also sometimes it'll it'll a uh, a get a different bite. It might get some different fish to hit because it's it's a crawl. It's a little more. Sometimes the fish are a little more aggressive on it, or a little bit bigger fish are want to hit on it. Oh, there's a fish right there. Didn't take long at all. And that is a green sunfish, another species out of here, another sunfish species. We've got bluegill, redbreast, and now green sunfish. Little one. Yeah, I need to pull something out of that shade. Redbreast is up in there. This deep hole, I remember, I did. I have come to this creek before. It's been a while, but I remember this deep hole was different. And that's, these creeks, they change so much. Just, these are gravel bottom ones here. And these, every time it rains or hard, it's gonna change around, so. All right, that's, um, that's already done really well. Let's get one more fish and then we're changing this lure. Oh man, there's so many fish that came out of that, there he is. 
they're really hanging up on that bank where that shade is on that left side. They're just, there are a whole bunch of fish coming out. Whoa, 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 what is this? What is this? I think this is an unexpected species. Stump nogger? Did not know that they were in this area. I mean, they're, they're, I know that they're in, like, technically, but I've never, I don't think I've ever caught one. That is definitely a uh, spotted sunfish. That's a great lure to end the uh, crawl off with. That's cool to catch. Nice, to, another species out there. I'm now putting on the Rebel Teeny R. This is a very underrated multi-species lure. Um, catches a lot of different size fish. Uh, of course, it's a little, you know, a little minnow, just something that any kind of thing would hit, but lots and lots of different species can hit it. And, it, and I, I've been surprised several times where I start using it that it pulls out a little bit bigger bass than I thought, or, you know, just start, you know, those bigger sunfish, you know, they, some, they want something a little bit bigger. And that's what I'm hoping it's gonna do today. All right, I'm gonna get stuff out of my pockets that I don't want to get wet because we're gonna get a little deeper here. Lot of water right here. Where are these fish at? Oh, oh, finally. Oh, I probably got that on camera. I wasn't even paying attention. I was about to pull it out of the water, had a hit. That's the fish I've been looking for about that size. It's really deep right here. I'm trying to see if I can, if I want to go through it. I was looking for just a good creek bass I'm hoping to get in a bunch of these size this this is a size that they like to a lot of times these creeks will have just a bunch of this size and as they get bigger they'll wash on downstream but it's a good start for our bass today Oh, there's another one. There was two of them right there. It's a little dark shadowy area. And I was like, well, let me put another cast in and another large mouth. What I got here? Nice bluegill. Fighting off the nets. And uh, I'm getting downstream. I know it doesn't go too much further. It's gonna run into a bigger creek. And that's where I'm really kinda hoping to find a lot of good fish. The little bit bigger ones down this way. <laughs> I can take the nets. There we go. I feel solid. No, oh, what is it? It's a bluegill. Oh, there's a bunch down there. There's so much sunfish in here. It's insane. Oh, oh, what is that? What is that? What? Finally hook into something. Oh, it's just a big sunfish. Wow. Look at that dude. That's crazy, is that a... Man, that's a slab sunfish. I think it's a hybrid though. Its mouth ain't big enough for a green sunfish, but it's got the green sunfish colors. Look how thick that thing, that thing hammered it. All right, we're getting a little bit, it's actually starting to get a little bit deeper and it's time to switch out. I thought I'd find a few more bass, but I think maybe the bass are further down or something or because the water's deeper than normal they mood, but we're gonna switch to the last lure in the box. The small Rebel Pop R, I think it's a bass color. Oh, I see a, oh, there's, <gasps> dude, I should have kept popping it. There was some bass underneath it and I just saw a big one come swipe at it. Or not swipe out of it, follow. Oh, there he is. Go, 
Come on. Come on. Dude, there's a big bass right there underneath it. He won't hit it. Oh man, come on. Oh, that was a nice bass. First, like, good sized bass I've seen. All right, you should never go anywhere without a yumdinger. Just have ready. I'm gonna wacky rig this. I don't know where those fish went. I imagine something. They might not hit it. I mean, I, they might not, but I, if anything, gonna get something to bite, usually a little slow sinking yumdinger. Twitching it, letting it sink. See if I can. There's something. There's some, there's a fish. There's a bass, there's a bass. It's not the big one. Okay, oh, oh, get my lure back. Oh, saved my young dinger. And I caught a little largemouth. Biggest one today. We can get a few more of those. Oh, there we go, there we go, come on. That's a solid fish. Oh, no, it ain't as big as I thought, but another bass. Last time I came here, this water was super clear and a lot lower. So it's so hard, it's a little bit different. It's a lot more water and it's a little murky. There's a little spotted bass though. I know there's some big ones out up in here swimming around. Now that I've already seen a couple of those drum and some other stuff, man. I'll tell them what's coming through here right now. A little spotted bass. Oh, it's chilly. I just don't remember. Oh, it's so cold. Which part I went through. There we go, it's staying pretty stable right there. Sort of. Well, I did weigh down through some deep water and uh, it just kept getting deeper and deeper. It was different than before, so, and I couldn't get any bites. So I'm gonna go ahead and start working back upstream and I'm going back to that popper. I gotta get a fish on that popper. Last time I did a video on this kit, I don't think I got a fish on the popper last time either. So we're gonna have to get one this time. Let's start heading back upstream. Oh, yes. Yeah, oh no. I had a fish on the top water. I think it was a sunfish. I get one. Dude, I think I got a fish and I think it's a tiny one. Wow. That popper, biggest lure I've got. I think I caught the smallest fish. <laughs> Fish on. That thing took it under. What is it? Bluegill. Yeah! That's the kind of hits I was looking for. Oh, this is the biggest one of the day, I think. That popper came through. Okay, maybe I've got a little bit more confidence in it. I was like, well, let me go up to this area that I didn't throw the popper. Maybe it'll get a bass to come out. I came through here with the teeny R, I think, and I don't know where this guy was. I didn't get him. Come back up to the popper. Boom, he hammers it. Okay, I might. I was, uh, <laughs> I was really thinking I was going to end this video just being like, I don't know. I can't catch anything on the popper. That's a good bass. That is a good bass. Look, I'm in a, not even knee deep water. Just casting it up there. He was waiting to hit at it. That, that, probably a 13 inch fish right there. Yep, that'll work.
Oh yeah. I thought there had to be something in there. I was just reeling this one in. He hit it. Let's see. What kind of fish is this? Oh, we swallowed it. Huh? Hold on. Let me get this out of you. Oh, must be a spotted bass. His fins are high right there in the point. Uh, it doesn't really have much of a tooth patch. Got red eyes. Maybe a large. Nah, I don't know what that one is actually. It's a little bit mixed looking. It's a good little fish. I went with a 6.6 six medium light with a six pound mono. I think this is the trout magnet mono line. And I, if, if I'm using the crick, just a crick hopper, I'm usually gonna go with four pound line. But since I knew I was gonna throw this little popper in the teeny R, I went with the six pound line. I still could cast the crick hopper fine. You know, especially for a crick like this, all you gotta do is get 30 feet out there. And I did get a few fish on this. So the bass just, they weren't, they were a little off today. I think there's a lot more smaller ones in here that just weren't hitting. But man, you, those uh, sunfish were real aggressive. I did catch several decent bass. Uh, I saw that really big one down there. I thought I was going to get him to hit, but I, I couldn't get that thing to bite. But it was a fun time being out here. I love these little Rebel lures. This little kit is just a great kit for just multi-species, just, you know, getting out there and just catching some fish. They just, they'll just get some fish to bite. Well, I just thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you uh, watching these videos and staying to the end. And it's, it's just so enjoyable for me to get out in these little streams and wait and, you know, just a relaxing two and a half, three hours, just kind of walking up and down. And I always find something new. There's always something, you know, something's changed. Uh, I saw that uh, down at the end. I want to try to get it down at the end now. Maybe I can go down a different way. There were some big fish down there. Uh, they were coming up into the creek, but now I know back when the, when the water gets low, it's going to be a whole lot easier to fish. So right now the water's up. So every time I go out to the little stream, I'm learning, I'm experiencing things and I'm exploring and trying to figure out what's going to make those little bass bite and what they want to go. I ended up catching my biggest bass on the popper. I uh, thought it would be the teeny R. I thought the teeny R would get them. Then I went to the wacky rig, thought maybe I would get something. Then I was like, well, I'm going to go back to that and end up catching the biggest one on it. So, um, I, I, after going through all the lures and everything, I just, I found out that they weren't real aggressive. Uh, obviously with the water being up, but even that, I still caught, I probably caught over 30 fish. And let's see here. We had red breast, green sunfish, um, stump knocker, bluegill, largemouth bass, spotted bass, at least six species. I know I caught a hybrid at least. So at least six species of fish and just a little stream. And uh, that's always makes it fun too. So thanks for watching. I'll try to leave a link for those lures. I think I got it from Walmart. Uh, I think they're 11, 11, $12 for the kit. It's definitely not better to get it in the kit. They're like $5 individually. So that's a, that's a great little kit and uh, just stuff I like to use. So thanks for watching.